Okay, so uh, thank you for joining me today. I want to tell you uh, a little bit more about Power Automate Desktop and to be precise to show you how to connect a Power Automate Cloud Flow with a Desktop Flow. So let's say we have a scenario when we uh, first start a Cloud Flow and do some actions here and then as the next action we start the desktop flow which continues with some following actions it's a very simple one and let's have a have a look at how we can do it so if i navigate here to the flow center right i can uh, create a new flow in this case i'm going to create an instant cloud flow uh, it will be manually so i just trigger it manually for now and let's give it an action. So as an example, we do something with Teams, right? So uh, let's just, uh, I don't know, maybe post a message. Post a message in a specific team channel. So I select a team, then I select a channel, and then a message. Now I save it. So I have this action already here saved and then the next action would be to actually call uh, desktop flow so here i have this option called desktop flows and then currently it has three uh, options below so i'm going to select the first one which is power automate desktop for that you would need a premium license because you see um, it's either per user or per flow license so make sure you have this license assigned and then I just go ahead and select this option. Then if you have a on-premises desktop gateway configured, which you can see in one of the previous videos, then uh, you would get options like to select specific flows. You see all these flows I already have created in my uh, local Power Automate desktop. So I'll select this one and uh, for the mode, for the run mode, uh, I'll go ahead and choose this attended run. So it means that uh, it will run only when I'm signed in. And save. If I open, so power automate desktop. Let's just have a quick look to see uh, this test flow to see what it does. You know, th this test flow is extremely simple. It has only one action and this action is to display a message, right? So if you search here, display, you see there is one called display message. And then you can give it the message box title, message to display, etc. So uh, I have, if we look here, you see my message box title called test, then this is the message that will be displayed. And that's it. Basically, these are the two options. So I close it. And the next step is to actually run a test to see how it works. So I select here to test. I do manually and run test. It asks me to sign in for the first time to Microsoft Teams and desktop flows to make sure those connections are available. And then I run. Oh, I get an error. The flow is currently turned off. So I need to make sure that this flow is turned on. Uh, let's see, activity suspended, turn on. You see the reason I cannot turn on because per user usage plan is required to enable this flow. See, I have to have a specific license to actually run it. Uh, so, but you get an idea, right? If I had the license, then I would run this flow properly and it would uh, trigger this desktop flow. Uh, but for now, I, I need to take care of the licensing issue. 
So I hope it's been helpful to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.